Xiaomi and Realme have fought enough in social media. The rivalry is real. But now it's time to send them to the real battlefield. Uh, yep, yeah, this is my budget battlefield setup. It will be upgraded soon. Uh, so this is where we are gonna see how the Realme 3 Pro and the Redmi Note 7 Pro perform in terms of real life usage. We are gonna compare the CPU performance, app opening times, boot times, and even the speed of the fingerprint scanners. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Ashwin Sundar. This is Technology Jog. Kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you are excited about the speed test. By the way, if you are wondering what I've got on the Note 7 Pro, it's an amazing skin from Capes India, our sponsor for this video. Capes India has a wide variety of cool skins that provide better grip and prevent scratches without adding a lot of bulk to the phone. They are available for all the latest phones including the Galaxy A50 and M30. So do check them out, you can use the coupon code TJOG to get 10% discount on your purchases. So coming back. Now guys, note that I turned off adaptive battery and then changed the background setting to no restriction for every single app on the Note 7 Pro. Now, despite these settings, the last time I did a speed test, the RAM management was not that great. So you guys posted in the comment section asking me to turn off MIUI optimization and developer options. So I did that as well. Uh, similarly, on the Realme 3 Pro, smart power saver has been disabled. And inside, I changed the power consumption setting to allow background running for every single app. And then I enabled high performance mode as well. So both phones are fully armored and ready for the battle. And few more things. Number one, the app switcher is cleared. Uh, there is nothing in the background. Number two, both phones were factory reset before this test and they have the same set of apps installed. And number three, both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Now let's first test the fingerprint scanners. I've unlocked the phones multiple times now and they are both quite accurate and consistently fast. And on both phones, I only have to touch the scanners for a fraction of a second and the phones still manage to recognize my fingerprint. I really can't pick a winner here. Both of them are equally good. Let's now move on to app opening times, which is one of the things that matter the most to any smartphone user. Uh, we open apps hundreds of times every day. And another note, uh, during the speed test, whenever necessary, I'll be fast forwarding the footage. So keep looking at the space for a fast forward symbol. Don't get confused. Let's start with the clock app. No difference. Twitter. The Realme 3 Pro was faster by a fraction of a second. Let's actually go back in and scroll through the feed. The first few scrolls on the Realme 3 Pro are a bit laggy, but after that it's fine. It's as smooth as the Note 7 Pro. This Twitter feed scrolling lag is something I've noticed in many phones. That's why I tested it. Anyway, both phones opened Instagram in the same amount of time. Same thing with Facebook. What about Zomato? Note 7 Pro loads it first and the Realme 3 Pro is taking a bit of time for some reason. That's quite unusual. Anyway, let's now open YouTube. Realme 3 Pro was a bit faster here. Amazon Prime Video. Note 7 Pro. Geo 7. Again, Note 7 Pro. Play Store. It's a tie. Let's now open a couple of games, starting with Subway Surfers. The Realme 3 Pro is noticeably faster. How about PUBG? Once again, Realme 3 Pro loads it first. Let's now go ahead and perform a video render test. I've loaded the same video on both phones. I've set the speed to 75%, as in uh, it will slow down the video by 25%. And the resulting clip is 40 seconds long. Let's now export it in 1080p resolution. This is a high intensity task. And this is a good way to compare the CPU performance of both phones. 
Okay, here I'm actually surprised because the Realme 3 Pro is quite far ahead. Guys, on paper, the Snapdragon 675 chip on the Note 7 Pro is better for CPU intensive tasks. And the Snapdragon 710 chip on the Realme 3 Pro is better for GPU related tasks like gaming. But video rendering, despite being a CPU intensive task, is not handled well by the Note 7 Pro. Just look at that, the Note 7 Pro is just halfway through and the Realme 3 Pro is done with the render. Let's now repeat this render test. Let's render in 720p resolution this time. Let's see if there is any difference. Ah, uh, no. Once again, the Realme 3 Pro crushes the Note 7 Pro. Now, I know it's not like everybody is going to edit and render videos on smartphones on a regular basis. But the point is, this kind of performance can affect your experience while doing something else. For example, capturing videos on the Note 7 Pro is kind of a nightmare. Once it heats up, there is some sort of throttling going on and it struggles to capture 30 frames per second. It's quite a big issue. I made a whole video about it. Check it out if you're interested. So those kind of issues might crop up from time to time. Anyway, let's now move on to the last row of apps. Phone. Messages. Both are equally fast. Google Chrome, the Realme 3 Pro is a tad faster. Same with the camera. So summary time, some light apps like Prime Video and Geo 7 opened faster on the Note 7 Pro, but otherwise it's the Realme 3 Pro that was running the show. Now, how about the background app management? As in, we need to check whether the apps that we opened are still open in the background or not. For example, we played a YouTube video, we started Subway Surfers, so let's see if they continue from where they left. So the bottom row of apps, none of them reloaded. But the Note 7 Pro falls short while reopening Premiere Pro. How about PUBG? Now here's what's disappointing about both phones. They don't have PUBG nor Subway Surfers open in the background. Imagine times like when you play Asphalt, uh, you check mail, go through Twitter once and come back to Asphalt after a while, you can't resume the game. The game needs to load from scratch and then after tapping and swiping away multiple screens, you will have to start a race from scratch. You lose unsaved progress, which isn't the optimal experience. By the way, both the phones that I'm using here are 4GB RAM variants. Now guys, I tried this test once before shooting this video, so both phones reloaded many apps and that's why I went into settings and turned off all sorts of battery saving modes and background restrictions. But sadly, it doesn't make a huge difference. Anyway, let's open the other apps. So far, both phones have been equally bad in terms of background app management. Well, not much to comment. Both phones are reloading many apps from scratch. So yeah, with regards to background app management, it's a tie. So anyway, for the final round, let's reboot the phones. Let me fast forward again. The Note 7 Pro wins here. It's a few seconds ahead. So that's the end of it. Fingerprint scanner test, tied. Background app management test, tied. Boot times, the Note 7 Pro is faster, but how often do we reboot our phones? App opening times, well, the Note 7 Pro is faster at loading some light apps, but there's not a big difference. But when it comes to loading games, the Realme 3 Pro is noticeably faster. And number five, comparing CPU performance at peak levels, you saw the rendering test. The Realme 3 Pro absolutely destroyed the Note 7 Pro. This is something Redmi needs to have a look at because it's not like the Redmi Note 7 Pro has a bad chip. In fact, like I said earlier, the 675 chip is actually more capable for tasks like these. But for some reason, we are seeing some issues. Let's just hope they fix it via updates. And guys, I'm working on camera comparisons. Is there any other video you want to see involving the Realme 3 Pro? Please let me know in the comment section. I'll try to make it happen. So that's it. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Subscribe to Technology Jock. And more importantly, hit the bell icon if you want to see more of these speed tests. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Ashwin Sundar. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.